Now I'm going to show you, then on a refrigerator, bear with me here. I'm going to show you on a refrigerator, oops, how depending on the friction, you know, this is a, you know, one of those small kind of legal pad things. It's like, I don't know, six inches by eight inches. And like I said, it's pretty much a full pad. I really hadn't ripped much of the way of pages off of it. Um, you know, if it's one of these magnets, it'll hold it up there. But it's pretty low friction. <laughs> you know, it's pretty low friction. It would really help if I had like a little sheet of rubber. You know, like those latex rubber gloves. You actually cut a little square uh, of that out. If I actually taped a piece of something like that on the back of this pad and put the magnet over it, it gives a lot better friction. You know, the refrigerators, like I said, don't have you know all that much friction. You know, this has a little. This is a little rougher than some of my other refrigerators, but you know, it kind of holds it, but just barely. Now, um, uh, you know, if you put two of these magnets, it'll hold a heck of a lot better. In fact, you know, you can actually stack them, and that gives you more friction. Uh, with a pad, but again, if you have this little thin sheet of rubber to put behind anything you want to mount, you know, be it this or something else, it would give you a lot better fra traction. Um, you know, three, of course, holds it ex exceedingly well. But if you really want to use these magnets, the best way to use them you know, instead of sticking them flat down, it's actually sticking them sideways. Like that. So that, you know, you can actually grab them and pull them off. And they still got pretty darn good force. But at least it's, <laughs> you know, you don't have to slide them across your refrigerator to get them off that way. Um, that's just a little bit. Um, but on this... You know, if you take this and put it sideways, it has more than enough to grip. I mean, this is really strong. Um, you know, it can easily support the weight of this, especially if there's no, um, you know, this, note, this whole notebook, especially if there's nothing else in the way. Um, and that's sideways, you know. Like I said, that magnet uh, stuck on there sideways, just like I showed you. Um, you know, if it's flat down, it's a heck of a lot better. Um, like I said, let me move this out of the way here a little bit. Um, and of course, some other things you can stick to the magnet are things like small wrenches. And, and I'm probably a large wrench, I just don't have one handy on me. And this is, again, a single magnet. Um, um, this knife is made mostly out of aluminum, so it doesn't really stick to the magnet, but the blade does. So, this is kind of an old-fashioned utility knife, so it's kind of heavy. Um, well, that's something that he's doing. Um, but, now, what I have here is a substantial, you know, empty cardboard box, and this thing is pretty darn, pretty darn big. It's, uh, you know, about a foot by almost two foot by over, you know, a good foot deep. Just to give you another example of how strong this is. Take these uh, uh, set of three magnets I have in the cardboard box. A set of three magnets I have. Let me try to get this back a little more so you can maybe see it better. Stick the monitors in the way. Um,
basically <laughs> that stuck to the refrigerator sticking out like that with just those three magnets there. So, you know, cardboard, empty cardboard box, you think, hey, it's not that heavy, but, you know, look at how it's cantilevered off the refrigerator. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's got some weight to it, even without even any kind of frictional leg, because cardboard actually is pretty slippery on something like a refrigerator surface. I mean, this kind of surface is pretty darn slick. I mean, that's why you can easily slide these magnets back and forth on it. Um... But yeah, I mean, that's just three of these things holds this thing up. So, I mean, like I said, this has got some force. But again, if I had a thin sheet of rubber to put behind any of this, it would hold it a lot better. Because, you know, these magnets, if you try to pull them, you know, are real hard to get off, especially when they're this way. Um, but again, they slide so easily because from the magnet standpoint, this is all steel. So, it, it doesn't care if it's here any more than it's here. The only thing that keeps it in place is just the friction between the magnet itself and the refrigerator. Or between um, or between whatever, whatever you put between the magnet and the refrigerator. So, like I said, this has got cardboard on the back of this pad. So, that's why it slides relatively easily. But again, if you had that thin latex rubber, and I just don't have any, I'd love to show you this. But if you had that some thin latex rubber, like on those rubber gloves, and put a little pad of that behind there, that would way increase the grip. Because this has got a lot of force, you know, that it's actually holding it to. Especially if you, you know, the force diminishes as, as it gets further away from the refrigerator. The pad's pretty thick. It's uh, certainly over an eighth an inch thick, probably three sixteenths or more. But, you know, the more magnets you put on there, the more force, but it's mostly, it's staying put because the this pad is actually being pull, pulled into the refrigerator, and that creates a lot of friction. So, but the more friction you have, the better. So if you had a little piece of rubber actually behind this pad, between the pad and the refrigerator, that would create a lot more friction between the refrigerator and this pad, as an example, so it would stay up there better. Um, you know, it could support more weight. Because as it stands, you know, this will still only support so much weight, especially with that kind of distance between it. Um, so it just all really um, directly depends on, you know, how far away the magnet is. But like I said, that would be really hard. These two magnets that I, I just had on that pad would be really hard to get off, but they slide quite easily. And it's because of low friction between the magnet and the refrigerator. Again, if you're trying to support something large, you know, like, you know, cardboard box or whatever, you know, having extra friction really does help. So, you know, that extra friction really will help um, on this. But like I said, you know, this cardboard box I have suspended here with just three of these magnets. So, um, that and friction. <laughs> So, you know, like I said, I can, you know, kind of move it, you know, on the refrigerator. It's, it's like I said, it's friction is barely minimal. It's just barely enough to hold it. But, you know, that is enough to hold a big cardboard box like that. So, um, anyway, I hope that gives you some idea of how strong these magnets are. I also might find this interesting. <laughs> this is one of those old steel indexes. You know, full of drill bits. Now, like I said, it's very, you know, it's got very minimal friction on it. In fact, it's actually this digging into the refrigerator that's kind of preventing it from sliding. Again, certainly enough force to hold this whole index of drill bits up on the refrigerator. Now, I'm using four magnets to do that. Let me pull this off. Ah, yeah, that's, ah, that, ah. You can see I'm peeking up there. I'm using four magnets, two stacked. Man, this is strong, too. i got to tell you. This this is on here, you know. But again, you know, there's not much friction between these mags and the refrigerator, so it's really inclined to slide. It'd be nice if I had something made out of rubber, but I mean that's on there pretty darn well. And that is that's not this isn't a joke. This isn't something I 3D printed and painted with rust colored paint. You know, I mean, you know, this is a real whole set of drill bits. You know, 90% complete anyway. So, um, you know, that goes to show you how strong these things are. Again, overkill for a lot of things, you know, more than enough, you know, this just has a standard ceramic, I don't even know if that's ceramic, honestly, but, um, yeah, standard ceramic magnet to hold it to the refrigerator, you know, and like I said, these are, you know, like 
insane versions of that. Anyway, that's what's so nice about these magnets. You know, you get a 30-pack of them, you know, for like 12 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty good value. It's just the best value I've seen of magnets on Amazon. You know, the best bang for your buck. So, anyway, I hope this uh, review was helpful to you, and uh, have a nice day. Grip assimilation completed, Master.